Hurricanes can be both beautiful and terrifying at the same time. When a tropical cyclone reaches sustained winds of 74 miles an hour, it is called a hurricane. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and how a hurricane forms. Hurricane season begins on June 1st and ends November 30th, although hurricanes can and have occurred outside of this time frame. In the North Atlantic and North Pacific, the term hurricane is used. However, in the Northwest Pacific, hurricanes instead are called typhoons. And in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean, the same storms get the term tropical cyclones. However, for a hurricane to occur, the following needs to line up. First, a group of thunderstorms needs to move over the ocean. Next, and this is very important, you need warm, moist water. In fact, the water needs to be 80 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Also, this water needs to be at this temperature for at least 200 feet deep. Next, you need unstable air that allows this moist air to rise and it needs to be very, very humid and rise up to 18,000 feet. This large amount of water vapor supplies latent heat energy for the storm. Gentle storms in the atmosphere traveling at the same speed and direction are key because this avoids the storm being ripped apart. And then at the top of the storm, you need a high pressure system in the upper atmosphere. Put all these ingredients together, and you may get a hurricane. However, it may fizzle out. Storms that form north of the equator spin counterclockwise, and storms south of the equator spin clockwise. If you'd like to know more about hurricanes, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.